Hello, and welcome back, everyone. It is me, Unique Man Alex, and I'm here with another How to Wield video. Now, like the uh, previous three videos I was I recorded, this one is during the same day, and uh, that's why I'm wearing the same shirt and pants. So, if you're wondering if I'm just uh, doing these videos on different days and same clothing, I'm not. It's same day, same clothing, same everything. Well, not same weapon, of course, because that would get boring. And I basically just needed to upload the same video. I wouldn't need to record different videos, really. So, okay. Knocking stuff behind me. Uh, this video is one of my uh, shorter knives, not the shortest knife. The shortest knife that I have will be next video. So, subscribe if you want to be around to see that when it's uploaded. And, uh, yeah. Very, uh, small knife, too. As I was just saying. A little bit bigger than my hand, but not that much bigger. Uh, it's entirely black, so kind of, uh, keeping it in front of lighter colors, just so it doesn't get engulfed in the black background that I kind of have behind me. And, yeah, comes from the, uh, unboxing video. It has a nice sheath that covers the entire blade. And, and even goes past the, uh, handle part, too. It's supposed to be rolling on a belt, but I'm not putting it on a belt. Just to, uh, show it off for a little bit. But, as I said with my, uh, previous video, not really a, uh, head butting knife. Because... The butt of the handle is basically right where your hand is. So if you were to headbutt someone's head with this, you'd basically just be punching the person with your own uh, fist, really. But I do enjoy this because it does have a little uh, nibbit. I'm just calling it a uh, nibbit. Then uh, indentation, if you want to say that word between the uh, end of the blade and your uh, first finger, whichever one it may be, for whether you're in defense mode or attack mode. And this is a very smooth transaction. Doesn't take that long, really. Just a couple seconds and you're in your defensive holding position. And this is a very light knife, too. Probably a pound, less than a pound, maybe, if I'd had to guess. Again, I don't weigh my uh, weapons because I don't really care about the uh, exact weight to the weapon. All I care about is whether it will slow me down in a fight or not. And this will not slow me down in a fight. Problem is, though, I'd have to get really close to the person because... As, oh, oh, there goes a blade, because as you can see, I'm not that fat of a person, and let me just roll up my sleeve. If I were to shove this thing into someone's arm, I'd basically be getting right up in their face, because this is not a big blade. If I, if I were to take this into battle, it would be mainly be for a secondary weapon or for quick and easy slashes which I would mainly be aiming for the throats to get a quick and e easy slash into them or I'd just kind of hold them up kind of just go behind them and be like don't move and then slash their throat while I'm done with them, basically. But yeah, 
not a good main weapon for if you're trying to take down 10 people at once. Especially in a zombie apocalypse where you need to be away from their teeth. Very up close and personal. So if you want the person to know your face, know your name, this is the weapon you'd want to use. And it also does, and it also has a uh, little grooves in the uh, top of the blade. So if you want to hold the enemy's blade or what have you in each groove, you have plenty for that, kind of. I really don't know what these grooves are used for in a weapon like this. If you know, then please put that down in the comments because I would like to know what these grooves main purpose is besides just putting the enemy's uh, knife or sword in and just moving it away because if they're used for like some uh, survivor uh, technique, I would like to know just so I don't uh, break any of the indentations with an enemy sword when I'm doing battle with them. So yeah, if you know what these things are for, then uh, put that down in the comments below. And uh, while you're down there, uh, comment what you think about my uh, how to build videos. If you like them, if you want me to do some like research and do some very like researched explanations, or if you just hate these videos outright, or anything, just comment them down below. And before you get into the comment sections, you will see a red. Uh, sub button. Push that, subscribe to my channel because the more subscribers I have, the more likely I am to uh, do videos. And the more subscribers I have, uh, the higher the potential or the closer YouTube comes to paying me for these videos. So uh, until then, subscribe if you are new. Hit that like button if you enjoyed any of this. Share this with your friends, families, goldfish, pets, dogs, cats, anyone or everything you see that can subscribe. Uh, share this with them. But until then, stay unique and I'll see you later. Peace out.